If you've ever gotten a Discord server invite and you've been impressed by how the invite looks on the screen, then you may want to consider doing the same for your own server. Adding custom elements to your server can make people want to join more frequently. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your custom Discord server invite using a free online template that we have on kapwing.com, our free online video and photo editor, and it has the exact dimensions that Discord recommends. So you just click the template, add your elements, export, and you're all done. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So first things first, you're going to want to open your Discord server and just make sure that you're eligible um, to use a Discord custom server invite. Um, and you can do that by going to your server and you can click the drop down menu here and you can go to server settings. And then you're going to want to go down to server boost status and then you will see if you are able to do this. So if you have level one perks unlocked, then you are able to do this. If you do not, then you're going to have to go about getting that in one of two ways. So you could either ask a community member who has Discord Nitro to boost your server. Another option is you could get Discord Nitro yourself and you can use your two boosts on your own server and this should unlock the level one perks. And as you can see here, that includes the custom server invite. So that's the first step is just make sure you're eligible. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to our template for the Discord server invite. And then you'll just be taken here and you can sign in and click edit this template. And it'll be in the exact correct size. Um, so you can see on the output size, it'll be this size. Don't change that, otherwise it will not be the correct size. So as it says, you can insert your art here. Um, you're gonna wanna do that before deleting this because if there's nothing in the frame, then um, it will just start you over from scratch. So you're gonna wanna throw something on the page first and then you can go back and you can delete this if you'd like. So here I have added my art um, and I'm going to want to move it over here and here is why. So I'm gonna change this, um, even if I already have this asset, I'm just gonna wanna keep it over here and this is because you want your art to be on the right side of the frame because when you get a Discord server invite, the link um, to actually join is on the left side. So you don't wanna put too much over here because it will be covered. I'm gonna change the background color to be the same color as this image. So I can just use the eyedropper tool, go about that. Um, so here I have little kapwing. I can also add text by going to the text uh, icon on the left and then there's a bunch of different texts you can add um, and then you can change them. So I'll say something like join us. Over here you can also add things like elements where you could draw shapes um, you could put in emojis or, and you can also look for images by going to the images tab um, that you could place on here as well. So I'll say discord icon, and then I can just bring this in automatically. Um, and there you have it, resize it. But when you are happy with your invite, then what you're gonna wanna do is click the export image button on the top right. It should export, it should not have a watermark. If it does have the Kapwing watermark on it, just make sure that you're signed in, it's completely free, um, but it'll make it so that it doesn't have a watermark. So then once you have downloaded the asset, then you're gonna go back to your server, you're going to do the same thing and click the drop down menu and click server settings. And then it should take you to your server overview, then just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see that there is a Discord invite background unlock. I already like the one that we have better than the one I made in two seconds, but if you were trying to upload a new one, you would just click the upload background button and then find um, the file on your computer. And then when you invite someone to join, which I just copied the link, you can see that it looks like so. And this does change based on what the size of your screen looks like, but it should in general look like so. And then you can just um, continue to Discord and they can join your server. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join our online community of modern creators and also check out our own discords so you can keep up with other kapwingers and the kapwing staff and i'll see you guys in the next one